Eyewitness Sports right now. American Legion playoffs continue, but today's games have been postponed. Good evening, I'm David Edelstein. Rain has again forced plans to change for the New York District 5 playoffs. Smith and Whitestown were supposed to play in the championship game or games today. The games have now been pushed to tomorrow. If Smith wins the first game, it will be named the New York District 5 champion. And in order for Whitestown to punch its ticket to the state tournament, it has to defeat Smith two games in a row. The games now tomorrow will be played at Murnane Field. Game one set for 5 p.m. Game two, if needed, would be at 8 p.m. And as it goes for outside sports, the Blue Sox have been rained out today as well. Utica was set to take on the Mohawk Valley Diamond Dogs in Little Falls today. A doubleheader was scheduled for today as part of last week's rain out between the teams. So now both games have been pushed to next Monday, July 29th. The teams will honor tickets for the July 17th game and today's originally scheduled game on that day as well next Monday. One great thing about sports is that they bring people together. Well, yesterday, thousands of people gathered from all over the world to witness the Baseball Hall of Fame induction ceremony in person. For all of them, in their own way, both players and fans say the Hall of Fame weekend was one they would never forget. On a stage filled with more than 50 of baseball's greatest players, managers, and commissioners, the Hall of Fame welcomed six more faces to the prestigious group in Cooperstown. The obvious questions are, what am I doing up here? And how in the world did this happen? An answer fans and Hall of Fame voters gave, of course, they got good at playing baseball, and the way they played positively impacted the game. And while each player had his share of emotions during his playing days, the inductees say this weekend generated feelings as well. You have a chance to be with the family and, uh, and uh, with friends and other uh, uh, peers. It's, it's amazing. It's great to come here after the, all those years and be able to sit down with Mo and still feel like it was the same as it was 10, 12, 15 years ago when we, when we did it back then. I really didn't look at the crowd. I was, if I did, I probably would have cried. I get very emotional when I talk about family, so I wanted to be strong for them today because my kids say you try, I cry too much. I am so glad that I stay with you till the end of my career. I love you, Seattle fans. You know, just unbelievable to get here uh, for as long as it took us. To all of your families who have extended so much love and friendship to myself and to my children, I'm so grateful. Thank you. And while being voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame is a big moment in the careers of the six players who were inducted today, the fans say this was also an emotional weekend for them. For diehard fans. I'm wearing sunglasses because my eyes are, I've been crying for hours, <laughs> literally. It was so heartfelt. Feeling like kids again. It's almost like a little kid on Christmas Eve. Uh, it's kind of be, I'll be a little giddy just to see them all on, on stage together. With cultural significance. It'll be just one of the best days of my life, actually. Being, being Latino ourselves and Mariano being Latino also, it, it gives us a lot of pride, it's bigger than baseball. Yeah. And I'm here with my dad, so even that much better. And as motivation for the next generation. I see him on TV a lot, but I never would have thought that I would see him in person. It'd be cool to play in the MLB. That'd be fun, make a lot of money. <laughs> but it, 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 yeah, it inspires me to go hard for my dreams. Now the dreams of six players reached to their fullest extent part of a game played and watched one day at a time, now careers that will be remembered for a lifetime. Now, the six players inducted into the Hall of Fame had such an impact on fans who've watched them, even to the point that a family I met after the ceremony introduced me to their son named Mariano, named, of course, after Mariano Rivera. It's all for sports and eyewitness news at 6, so be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com and click on local sports for your top sports stories. I'll have more tonight on Eyewitness News, first at 10 on WFXV, and back here on Eyewitness News at 11. There's more Eyewitness News after the break, so stay friendly and stay tuned.